Now, the wireless story is not done just yet. Apple also made upgrades to how wireless connections work on the go as well. If you have a cellular model, they are now packing Apple's C1X chip, which we first saw on the iPhone Air a month ago. This brings up to 50% faster 5G speeds compared to just last year's iPad Pro. So if you're uploading 4K videos or downloading large project files or just streaming video while you're traveling, you are going to feel the difference, especially in crowded areas and like fringe coverage. The new modem is also more power efficient, so you'll get better battery life while staying connected. The iPad Pro is eSIM only, which means you can add and swap plans without dealing with physical SIM cards. And I know some people love that, while others prefer the quickness of just removing a physical SIM card and putting it into a new device without having to worry about dealing with carriers. But that is a limitation or benefit depending on how you see it. Seriously though, cellular connections are fast and responsive and work great on the iPad Pro. 